everybody, it's me Yuki here, and today I'm going to show you how to crochet this amigurumi ball. Great for beginners, because it covers all the basics of increasing and decreasing. It's going to help with the next video I'll post. I'm not going to tell you what that is just yet, but um, it's the basics of doll heads, animal heads, any type of um, amigurumi. So that's why I thought it would be a good idea to show this to you before I show you the other videos I'm going to make. Um, it's also great for, this is like the basics, you know, of increasing and decreasing. So it'll be really good for you when you want to make your own pattern. Okay, the materials you need are a 5 millimeter crochet hook, sewing needle, yarn, scissors, and a safety pin. This is optional, and I'll show you why you'll need it later. Okay, we're going to start off with a magic circle with six single crochets in it. So now we're going to do two single crochets into each one of these stitches. And two. And go one. And two. This is how you would typically increase. If you want to just get bigger and bigger and bigger, the first increase you're going to do is probably two single crochet, two single crochet in each. At the end, you should have 12 stitches. Okay. In our next round, we're going to do one single crochet in the first stitch and two single crochet in the next stitch. One single crochet, then two. Go one, and then two. Continue to do that all the way around, and meet me when you're done. At the end, you should have 18 stitches. All right. Now, in the next round, we're going to do one single crochet, the next two stitches and then two single crochet. We're gonna go one, two, and then two single crochet. One. Two and two single crochet. I'm gonna continue to do that until you get to the end, and at the end you should have twenty four stitches. Okay. In the next round, we're gonna do one single crochet, in the next three stitches, and then two single crochet. One, two, three, and then two single crochet. Continue to do that until you get to your stitch marker. You should have 30 stitches. Okay, for our next round. We're going to do one single crochet in the next four stitch and then two single crochet. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and then two single crochet. Continue to do that for the rest of the round. When you meet your stitch marker, you should be at 36 stitches. Okay, 
This is going to be our last round of increase. We're going to go one single crochet, the next five stitches, and then two single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. And then two single crochet. Continue to do that all the way around until you get to your stitch marker. And then at the end, you should have 42 stitches. Meet me there. Alright. Now we're going to do one single crochet in every one of these stitches for eight rows. I'm going to go around here eight times. It's going to take a while, so <laughs> give me back when you're done. Okay, we finally gotten through all of our eight rows. We're going to start decreasing. Now, just in case you don't know what that is or how to do that, I'm going to show you. So this round, we're going to go one single crochet in the next five stitches and then a decrease. So check this out. One, two, ooh, hold on. two, three, four, and five. And now, when you decrease, you go into this first stitch, you pull through, but you're not going to pull through again gonna go into the next stitch and pull through. You should have three loops on your hook and you're gonna pull through all three. And what that does is instead of it being two stitches there like it was, it's only one because you pull these two stitches together to make one. Hope you understood that. If you want I can make a more thorough video on how to do it but yeah, I'll show you one more time. One, two, three, four, five. We're going into the first stitch, pull through, and into the next stitch, pull through. You should have three. I'm going to pull through all three of them. You should only have one stitch there. Alright, so continue to do that. Go ahead and rewind if you need to see that process again. But um, go ahead and continue to do that until you get to your stitch marker. And at the end you should have 36 stitches. Okay. okay. Now on the next round, we're going to do one single crochet in the next four stitches. And we're going to do, do two together. One. Two, three, four, then two together. One more time. One, two, three, four. Then decrease. Now continue to do that to get to your stitch marker, and you should have 30 stitches. Okay. For our next round, we're gonna do one single crochet in the next three stitches, and then two together. One, two, three. And then decrease. Continue to do that to get to your stitch marker. You should have 24 stitches. Meet me there. Alright. In the next round, we're going to do one single crochet, the next two stitch, and then decrease. One, two, three. 
and then two together. Now repeat that till you get to your stitch marker. At the end you should have 18 stitches. Okay, now that we've done that, we're going to stuff our ball, pull this out so you don't lose your place, take out your stitch marker so it doesn't get stuck, and just a tip for when you're stuffing something around, I would stuff to the sides first. to the side like this and then go around just keep stuffing around and then after that you could go ahead and start filling the middle but just stick it out to the side so it can get nicer and round now this is just a tip not a tip but just a little Tidbit. I hate stuffing. I hate it so bad. It just, I don't know. I can never get the shape I want. And sometimes when I do, I can never mimic it. I don't know how people, other YouTubers get their stuff in and their heads all nicely shaped and stuff, but it doesn't happen with me. The only thing that saves me is that I cover it up with hair or with ears or with facial expression and stuff like that. But otherwise, stuffing is, <laughs> stuffing. Stuffing is not my forte at all so if you like me and you have a hard time stuffing i feel for you because it's just i don't know it's so difficult to get that right shape i don't know but just bear with it and then um just try to get to like oops as ball shape as you can so when you're done with that go ahead and meet me back here and we'll talk about how to finish off our ball. Okay, now if you're done with your stuffing, just gonna put our stitch marker back inside and draw that yarn back. Okay, so for this row, let's also it right now, but to get better so what we're gonna do we're gonna do one single crochet and then decrease go one two together make sure you press the stuffing down with your finger when you're going over this it's kind of difficult but you get the hang of it hold it down with your finger like this go one And then decrease. You're going to continue to do that until you get to your stitch marker. Meet me there. You should have 12 stitches. Okay. Now that you've done that, this is a good chance to get a little more extra stuffing in there. See how it's kind of more stuffing on this side than on the other? At this point, you cut it. Put your stuffing in here, like through here, and get it rounder on the bottom too. Like just as round on the top, but on the bottom. It's a good time to shape it too. You gotta get it as much, well, to look as much like a ball as you can. I mean like, when I mean stuff on the edges, I mean sticking it in here. Only places where you need it, because if you do it too much, It'll start leaving openings. You can start seeing the white through your stitches. And you don't want that because it doesn't look very good. Okay. So meet me back when you're done with that. If you feel the need. Okay. This is our last row. We're just going to do two crochets together. Or crochet two together. The entire way around. You should have 12 stitches. Not 12, um, 6. Now 
I continue to do this the entire way around and just close up the gap at the bottom. Let me back here when you're done so I can show you how to finish it off. Like I said, your stitch marker, you should have six stitches. All right, now that you've done that, you should have six stitches. And your ball should look whole. All I have to do is, just a kind of tip, I do at least one more decrease, just, just so the hole is easier to close up. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to, a short tail just so we can sew it up pull it through now you're going to get your sewing needle and your safety pin and for all of you haven't seen my other videos I use the safety pin to thread my needle because I'm not one of those people who could just poke it through like that so what you do is you stick it through the needle, you grab your yarn, and pull it through. It's pretty handy. Is that considered a hack? I think so. Maybe. I'm gonna tie a knot. And I'm gonna cross over. And pull at your stitches. Until it's closed. Just like that. Yeah, now you're just gonna go through some stitch somewhere. Tie a knot, doesn't come loose later, and go through anywhere in your ball, and cut it off. And there you go, your ball's all done. So, um, I'm not very ball shaped. See, this is what I'm talking about the stuffing. Like, it looks good on this side, then you turn it around, and then I have no idea how to duplicate that. So, please let us know if you know. But, um, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it was easy to follow. Um, it's a good idea to master this because, um, it'll help with making dolls and making animals. And this is basic amigurumi right here. With the increasing and the decreasing and the rows. Stuff like that. And, um, with figuring out how to do things like that, you'll be able to make your own patterns. And, uh, I don't know. Then you can modify it when you learn how or when you get skilled enough. But, just for now. This is, I make a ball, or a doll head, or an elephant head, you know, whatever you want. But, uh, thank you for watching, and please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.